before we start, I just want to give you a hint to subscribe to me because in my next video, I'm giving away a really nice set of colored pencils and a really nice caddy to hold them. I think you'll really like it, so hit that button below. Hi, it's Dia. As artists and as colorists, we see beautiful images done by people every single day. Whether we do art as a job or whether we color for a hobby, many of us look at art and then think, I would like to improve my art too. And in turn, that can cause some inner anxiety and it kind of gets us immobilized because we're afraid we're gonna be disappointed in our own work. But take heart, like Henri Matisse said, creativity takes courage. And if you want to, there are ways to improve your drawing and your coloring. But don't worry, this is not an overnight endeavor. The Japanese have a word, kaizen, which is a combination of the word kai, which can mean business or change, and also the word zen, which means gradually or good. Put them together, and it means change that is good but gradual. Also known as the one minute principle, you set your clock for exactly one minute and do the thing that you're trying to improve every single day at the exact same time. So when we try to improve our coloring or our art or our drawing, it can be intimidating. It feels like we're starting something brand new and that can be a little scary. But if we literally set a clock for 60 seconds and try the thing that's intimidating to us, whether it be shadows or skin tone or hair and do it only for 60 seconds and then stop when that alarm goes off, it doesn't feel so overwhelming. It's not a harrowing experience. In fact, it can kind of be fun. Now here's an example of where the one minute principle of Kaizen really came in handy. I was illustrating a children's book and this was my first example of a mouse. Well, needless to say, they hated it. Here's another example. Each of these demos or mock-ups or whatever you wanna call them were painstakingly drawn by me because I thought if I made it perfect, they would like it. So you can see that there was a lot of detail here and yes, it was getting cuter and yes, it was getting closer, but they still didn't like it. So rather than trying to be perfect, I drew sketch after sketch for a minute at a time, like this one, which eventually morphed in to this one, which I really liked, but they didn't. But it was okay because the pressure was off. I was only doing it in one minute sessions. So eventually I came up with this, which morphed into this, which they loved, ended up in the book, and also in Coloring Dreams, which you can see today. I wanted to show you all these images because I wanted to show you how the Kaizen method really worked for me. Every single one of those images in the beginning were very stressful, like, like I said, and it made me nervous every time I went to sit down. And it was almost a self-fulfilling prophecy. I handed it to them and they didn't like it. So then I started to set the clock for one minute and just sketch and sketch and sketch and sketch. And obviously the results were very, very positive. Now, if you're a colorist, you don't create new images every single time, but you are trying new techniques. So rather than driving yourself crazy, set the clock, give it a whirl. You can, you can try literally anything you want and the pressure is off. So it might not be perfect every time, but there's a lot a lot more of a chance that you're gonna like it. So do it, set the clock and give it a whirl. You're not gonna be Picasso overnight and knowing that takes some of the pressure off. So do it, try it in little tiny increments. Just know that you can make big changes with little tiny steps. So I hope you try the one minute principle of Kaizen. And if you do and you're successful, I hope you tell me about it. So that's about it for today. I hope you subscribe to me. And I also hope you give me a share if you like this video and a thumbs up. 
and I will see you in the next video. Once again, I'm so glad you're all here, and thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.